what's going on guys we are back with some o-ray products this time it's their new split extend lineup of devices let's talk about them all right so here we have two of the new split expand devices from o-ray first we have the usb c2 hdmi 2 and we also have the sx 3c 4k 85 now the names are a little bit long so for the purpose of the video we're going to call this one the c2 and this one the 3c now we're going to start off with the c2 because it's the cheaper and simpler of the two devices both of the devices are powered by USB, no external devices needed. The C2 actually has this adapter here that you can convert it from USB 3.0 to USB-C. Now on the other side here, you can see the two HDMI outputs. You can see one says 1080p and the other says 4K 30 Hertz. Now, the reason why both of the outputs aren't equal is because this is running off a of USB 3.0. So there are a couple limitations. This is more for older devices. This isn't meant for somebody that needs high resolution or high refresh displays. Like I said, more office work, maybe some photo editing, or if you don't mind playing games at like 1080p 60, then this is fine for you. These are very simple plug and play devices. So instead of reading off the spec sheet, let me just switch over to the other camera angle and show you them working. All right, guys, so here we are. I've gone and plugged in the device here through my USB device is right here. And then I just have an HDMI cable going into it. And you can see at the top that there is a second monitor now showing. And I have Hearthstone open here and I can freely drag it from my laptop screen to the top monitor there. And it's literally that simple. You know, we can just open up a new web page here, put that on top, watch a YouTube video or whatever it is. While well, you know, we game some Hearthstone at the bottom. And it's that simple. Like I said, these devices are literally plug and play. Do keep in mind that you might need a driver to make this work because this device is working off a of USB 3.0 only. I didn't need to install any drivers, but I will have a link to that driver in the description down below. It's actually provided by O-Ray themselves. So it'll be easy to find. So yeah, everything's working as it should. I can drag everything from one screen to the other, including the web page above. Just drag it to my laptop screen. So like I said, everything works fine. And if you want to add a third display, you can, but remember that you are limited to 1080p 60 on that third display. Now, when it comes to the 3C, this is pretty much an all in one USB hub. You get some extra USB ports, you get a display port and two HDMI outs. You also get an ethernet port. On the other side, you get some SD card readers, an audio jack and another USB. So same thing with the 3C, I just went and connected it to the USB type C port that I had there. The only thing that you need to keep in mind with your laptop is that you need to have PD 2.0. And that's been a thing since I think 2015, just look at your spec sheet for your laptop to make sure that it has PD 2.0 capabilities. That's the only requirement with this thing. But I have gone and connected the same HDMI port and you can see that the display is showing up at the top there. I'll just go and drag screen there and you can see that it's working now the good thing with the 3c like i said before is that there's no limitations on any of the outputs all of them support up to 4k 60 so all three of these displays if i was to connect it to all three of my screens in the background there they would all support 4k 60 and that's pretty much all there is to it guys ori just keeps giving us these awesome devices that are very easy to use link in the description for you to check out the spec sheets and get yourself one of these devices if you have any questions leave it in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace